up y'all welcome back to my channel if you're new to my channel hey girl hey make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell and if you are not already following me on social media make sure you go and do that and you guys i'm going to put up my business page instagram and twitter facebook all that good stuff make sure you follow that because my website will be launching really really soon i'm so excited about that that is why i've been inconsistent i apologize but today i'm gonna be showing you guys how to go from this blonde 613 hair to this popping cherry bomb color so getting right into it i'm using kiss colors i'm using paprika crimson and cherry bomb to start off with we're gonna get into that but these are the colors i started off with and you already know get you a nice little tub of hot water you do not have to boil the water i never boil it i just get it as high as it can get in my sink and it works just fine so I started to pour the colors in. I used the paprika first, then the crimson, and then a little bit of the cherry bomb because it was a little bit lighter. And I didn't want this red to be like um, super bright like the last tutorial that I showed you guys. I didn't want it that bright. Um, this was for my god sister. She ended up really, really loving the color. I loved it. It was so pretty on her. So let me know if you guys like this color down below. However, I do want to let you guys know something that I experienced with the Kiss colors. Um, not so much their other colors. You guys know I've used the blue for my blue hair. However, I have experienced lately that their red colors are not as pigmented as a door. So if you plan on doing the watercolor method, I highly suggest doing a door versus kiss. Um, if you're going to do kiss colors, like if a door doesn't have a color that you want to use, then just go ahead and apply the color directly to the hair um adhere kind of patchy to the hair so i ended up having to re-dye this hair twice after the initial process for a total of three times sis and don't nobody have time for that you can just get it done one process and call it a day so you guys know after i put the color in i like to test it with a paper towel just to see if it's like the color that i'm going for and definitely make sure that you have it mixed in very well So right here, I'm just doing a test strand and it was a little bit too bright for me. So I did go ahead and add the rest of the paprika. So guys, I went ahead and put all of the bundles as well as the closure into the mixture. And if you put your bundles in how I did with like the bundle still wrapped up, make sure you do open up the bundles to make sure that all of the hair gets evenly distributed with the color. This was a 20 inch closure, 20, 22 and 24 inch bundles. And after I make sure that the hair is all unraveled and getting all that color everywhere, I let the hair sit for five to 10 minutes to make sure that it soaks up all of the color. Next clip you guys are gonna see is the second time that I colored the hair. And as you can see at the top of that bundle at the bottom, it didn't take in some areas and this bundle coming up right here, it took really, really dark in the middle and then it didn't take at the top of the rest. So right here I have mahogany red and paprika. I'm gonna use both of these bottles, mix it up really good and re-dip the hair. And for the third process, you guys, it was just me redoing the closure. Some of the pieces came out dark, so I had to go in and bleach them very lightly for like 10 minutes and then recolor over them to make sure that they match the rest of the closure. Um, so yeah, you guys, after I do all of that, I like to co-wash the hair, let it sit for about 30 minutes to an hour so it's nice and conditioned and just blow a dry or let it air dry and style per use. Hey guys, let me know down below if you guys like this color. Let me know what colors you guys wanna see me do next. Um, you guys can email me for a custom color as well as getting any units made by me at thehairlifellc at gmail.com. I'll leave it in the description box. I'll be uploading tons more videos of my work and everything coming up very, very soon. This is the finished look, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you follow me on my social media platforms, and I will catch y'all in my next one. Bye.